Well, uh, do you want me to start? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'll my... cut you off like I always do. Because I'll keep going. I'll just keep rambling. <laughs> Um, my mom's entire family is from here. They were born and raised in West Tennessee on farms. So I grew up coming here in, in the summers, and then we'd be on our way back to L.A., and I'd be begging and pleading my parents, please, let's move. I want to be a farmer. So I always had a desire, like, oh, if I have a family one day, I'd love to live on a farm. And you can do that in L.A., but it's, it's hard. So when Missy and I met, <laughs> I was so grateful because I met a woman who had that same desire and she just wanted a simple life. We're both actors in LA and we all, we wanted this simple farm life. For the record, I don't do hatchet jobs because I don't need to lie and betray people to get what I want. We were on days of our lives together. We were both dating other people. We weren't even in the same storyline, but we, we knew each other. And he was having some friends over his house, and we had both since then broken up with the people that we were dating. And he was like, hey, would you like to come out to my house? I'm having some friends over. And I was like, yeah. So I went that one night. The next night, I was at his parents' house for dinner. We got engaged 30 days later. We got married almost a year later. In two days, it'll be 30 years. That's funny. Ago was our first date. When you know, you know. So when we had the opportunity to move here, we were like, Oh my gosh, our dream can come true. We can live on a farm. I've always wanted to be a real life farmer. Come here. Come here, girl. Yes. Oh, I kind of feel like it's the best of both worlds. I mean, because our kids are native Californians and I love my Days of Our Lives family, so that's why I continue to go back there. But then there is nothing like flying back into BNA because you just get that feeling. Like I hear George Strait on the intercom. <laughs> He's like, welcome to Nashville. And I'm like, yes. This is definitely our home now. So we moved here and we had five acres and we were like, this is amazing. After being in LA, yeah. you, know, you come and you're like, five acres, you know, we got lost on it. Come on, come on. You coming? Come on. Well, she's bringing her stick. <laughs> of course. We lived in an Airstream while we built this house and built the barn. And That's my favorite house. I literally. The Airstream, yeah. We, we lived there a year and a half. We're keeping the Airstream. It's going to be our guest house. We lived in it with an English Mastiff, two Chihuahuas, and a Basset Hound. This was her bed. She would sleep right here. It was. This was home. It's great memories. Great memories. Great memories. I was like, yeah. this is all we need. So, you like, re it really puts things in perspective. It was amazing. It really amazing. makes you realize I what, loved it. how much you don't really need. Yep. We're going to have I, Friday night dates out here. <laughs> exactly. Come here, Telly. Come here, girl. Come here. Come on. Here. Come here. I know. She's so mean. Oh, we had nine cows on the property. We had those cows eating out of they our They were eating out of cookies. our hands every day. If the fence was open when we woke up in the morning, all nine cows were in, in there, there by, the trailer. by the trailer. We'd be in bed. All of a sudden, you'd hear, We yes. created a bad Waiting thing. for the cookies. <laughs> We have Osa, she is our English master. She sleeps in the bed with us. She's 150 pounds. We'll be in bed and have fallen asleep and I'll feel heavy yeah. breathing on my neck. And I'm like, <laughs> it's not me. I'm like, okay, that's not my wife. My grandfather, who instilled my passion for coffee, he gave me my first cup of coffee when I was five years old. He also taught me how to build things. Yeah, we built this house and then instead of using the garage for a garage, we made it our roastery and put a glass door on it. And, you know, we have friends up, so we'll have cuppings where everyone can taste coffee as he roasts. And then on the outside, Missy's created this amazing space. It's our whole little operation. I have to it's kind of nice. I haven't, we haven't sat out here when it rains I like know. this. And... We were in LA and we get a call from uh, my daughter and son-in-law, and they're like, um, the barn's burning down. Like, it's unbelievable. We don't even... The goats got out, thankfully. This is what was left when we got home. Because we don't have any storage in our house, so we thought, well, we'll just use the barn and keep everything in the barn. We lost all of our pictures. Because we, we lost everything. We lost, you know, the hope everything. chest with baby clothes in them. We lost all the kids' school stuff that they made growing up. That's that was the hardest stuff That's to lose. Picture frame. And then stuff like this survives. <gasps> Look, what my little Airstream ornament. No way. But it, I don't think it's still good. It oh, burned. no, you have to save that. 
You forward. never know what you're gonna run into out yeah, in the country. that was bad. On the farm. But we still got each other, we still have- We have the Airstream. The animals, we have the Airstream. You know, if all else fails, boom, we jump the Airstream and take we off. We got wheels. We got a house we on wheels, anywhere. man. <laughs>